Hey there, it is Saturday, October 29th, and it is time for your weekly daily word games here on GeoJesser. Uh, I just recorded an entire video. I played five games, and when I finished, I went to see how long the video was, and there was no video because I had not hit start recording. I had hit start virtual camera, which does not in fact record anything. I'm very sad because they were all really good solves. <laughs> So here I am coming at you with some new games. I'm gonna show you my results from the other five because I left them up um, just because I wanna brag a little because I was really happy with how I did. Um, and uh, hopefully not fail around, fail this time around. Um, anyway, uh, I was doing a Halloween themed episode. So we're gonna continue with the Halloween theme. The starting words are gonna be Halloween related. Um, and uh, that's really all I've got. Um, because it's Halloween Monday and this is the last video before then. Um, well, I mean, my dailies will be there, but not my not my big ones. Um, so I just have um, some favors to ask if you are so inclined. I am still clawing my way to monetization. Um, not only do I need a thousand subscribers, which I have 861 last I checked, so I need 139 more. Look, I did that math really fast. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's not so many, although it's been quite slow lately. And part of the reason for that is I also need 4,000 public watch hours, which means 4,000 hours of video that other people have watched. Um, and that does not include my shorts, which I only learned about a few weeks ago. And so I have started trying to make content that is not shorts more often. The downside to that is that I get fewer views and therefore fewer subscribers. The upside is the views I do get count toward that 4,000 hours. So it's a bit of a funny balancing act. So what I've been doing is trying to have one short per day and the other two daily videos are a bit longer, usually not much more than a minute, but even a little bit more than a minute, it's not as short anymore. And then when people watch it, it, it counts. So, you know, it's not a lot. If 60 people watch it, that's an hour, but an hour is an hour. Um, but one thing you can do to help me out is if you put videos, put my videos up, my my non shorts, um, and just even just let it play in the background muted while you're doing something else. It'll count as a public watch hour uh, or count toward the public watch hours. So if there are any videos you haven't watched that maybe you were like, oh, I should watch that. Like now's a good time to do that. Uh, and even if you don't want to like watch it, watch it like I won't be offended. Um, my sh my uh, streams count toward public watch hours as well. So if you've never joined a stream before, um, you might consider doing that. I stream at 2 p.m. Pacific on Sunday afternoons. We play GeoGuessr. Um, we typically play some custom maps submitted by viewers, and then we do some country streak. Our country streak is up to, I think we're close to 300. So, you know, we want to keep that going. Um, so you can join me there and stay for the two hours, even if you just leave it on in the background. Um, that's two more public watch hours from each person who watches. So again, uh, that would be super helpful. Uh, in the meantime, obviously the most helpful things anyone can do is like and comment that tells the algorithm people are watching the videos and to continue showing them and suggesting them to people. Because I think when people do watch my videos, they typically do like them. Uh, and the other thing, of course, is if you're not subscribed, uh, hitting that big red button doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out a lot. So if you've enjoyed the content so far, um, I'd really appreciate uh, having you here with me. Um, and if you're so inclined and have not already, I do have a Patreon. I, I don't know how to make it do like the sound effect because I'm not that good at editing videos. Um, so so I did I did it with my tongue. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's a link to the Patreon in the description. There's bonus content there as well. You can join for as little as a dollar a month. It helps keep the channel going. So I really appreciate it. Uh, and that's it. Let's play some games. So what I played when I thought I was recording and wasn't were Quartal, Symbol, Not Wordle, Wordle Peaks, and Squirtle. And so I needed to find some games I hadn't played yet. So we're going to do Exordal, Fibble, Warmel, so sort of a Keldor extravaganza, and then Word 500 and Vertical. Because fortunately, I have not yet played the vertical for the day. But I do want to show you uh, my results for the ones that I already played because they're all really good. Um, if you are intending to play them yourself, pause here and go play them and then come back so you're not spoiled. Uh, or skip ahead. There will be a chapter um, chapter markings in the description. You can just skip ahead to um, Exordal if you don't want to see my results. So let's do it.
So there's my quartal. I started with Ghost, Witch, and Spook, and uh, I had a guest to spare when I was done. I was really proud of that. Uh, symbol, I got it in five. It was kind of a funny, you know, I got, I got the ADY and then I was in the ADY trap, but I figured it out. Uh, not Wordle was another one where I fell into a trap. I had the B and the Y and then I kept going and then bully was a mistake, but it got me where I needed to go. And then Wordle Peaks. I mean, look at Wordle Peaks. It was doggy. I'm so sad that you didn't get to see my delight when the answer was doggy because it was the best thing ever. And there's my Squirtle. I got, I got it in with six guesses left. Um, this one I started with Witch and went from there. And I even got to show off the new keyboard features that uh, apparently just went live today because they weren't there last night when I played it and got a seven and of course wasn't on camera because I don't usually record myself at 1145 on a Friday night. But I wish I had that one on camera because that was amazing. Uh, but anyway, there's that. So let's go ahead and play some more games because why not? I would play these games anyway. I just wouldn't normally record it. Okay, Exordal. Uh, Exordal, we're solving two words on one board. We know that the words don't share letters with each other, but we don't know which letters belong to which word when we make our guesses until we figure it out. The idea is to figure it out. And we're started off with the word snafu, which is a description of how my video recordings have gone today. <laughs> I don't know why I've been doing this daily for like seven months, but you know, it's not always easy. But you know what that means? We can still do, oh, we can't do ghost. Darn it. How about, oh, come on, there's got to be, oh, I can do witch. Okay, that's a relief. Oops. Got to keep the Halloween theme going. Oh, that was a good guess. Okay. Um, interesting. It ends in CH, but not TCH. So is it witch? It's got to be. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Sorry, I hit a button on my keyboard. You probably didn't see it, but it startled me. Um, so now I just need something that's all new letters again. <laughs> that's really funny. Uh, oh yeah, yesterday I played this one and I got it in two guesses. My first guess was right. My second guess was right. It was, <laughs> honestly, it was too easy. <laughs> but that was pretty funny when I just solved it. And I was like, oh, okay. I guess that's the answer. Again, without the camera on, because obviously, what oh, greed. Whoa, okay. Not greed. So we need the O and or the Y. Something like Bloom. Okay, we have an M and an O. Is it Mommy? Yeah. Snafu Witch Mommy. And that's the uh, AI image. That is really something. I don't know how that fits, but I kind of like it. <laughs> Witch Mommy. Okay. Awesome. Uh, let's move on to Fibble. So when we play Fibble, um, it's just solving a wordle, except the twist is you, uh, in each line, exactly one of the tiles is lying about its color, exactly one. So one of these is wrong, either like, for example, the S is supposed to be green or the T is supposed to be yellow. So, but only one of these is incorrect and the rest of them are telling the truth about their situation, but we don't know which one is lying and it's not the same for each, uh, for each line. So, we need to figure it out. And so usually how I start is by making a word that's similar to the given word, um, repeats three or four of the letters to see if I can uh, force it into a contradiction and therefore know what it was lying about, or at least have an idea of what it wasn't lying about. So how about, um, well, I can do stall, although I don't usually like doing double letters because that can add to confusion. Oh, sh uh, I can do scald, repeat the yellow letters. Let's try that. Okay, so I did catch it in a lie because here it says the S is yellow, here it says it's gray. Here it says the L is yellow, here it says it's gray. We call this an X-wing that comes from um, a Sudoku technique. Basically, we know that either the S or L is lying in stock, either the S or the L is lying in scald. And since we know that one of those is the lie in each word, the rest of the information is true. And the reason we call it an X-wing is it kind of makes an X shape. It's like either this is true or this is true. Either this is true and this is false or this is true and this is false. So 
We don't know which, but we do know that the word ends in D, which is actually incredibly useful, and there is an A in the word. So I'm going to test the S again. Um, maybe? So if there's not an S, there is an L, and if there's not an L, there is an S. So that's kind of where we're, what we're working with here. Um, the S could be lying twice and it's supposed to be green, or the L could be lying twice and it's supposed to be green. But if the L is lying, then there is an S also. That's kind of how you have to look at it. Um, maybe EAD. EAD. LEAD, maybe. I like that. Uh, plead. Um, I don't think I've ever solved a fibble in two. <laughs> I'm like checking now. Is it really recording? That was really... <laughs> Good thing I didn't start with shall. Um, so the... That was right. Um, that was a really good guess. Scald was a really good guess, turned out. Uh, I'm really pleased with that. <laughs> okay. It's always that reaction of wait, did I did I just did did that just happen? Okay, I don't think I've definitely never solved a fibble that fast. Usually it takes me to the bottom, sometimes even all the way to the bottom. At least four or five guesses though. Anyway, cool. Definitely didn't do it that well yesterday. But that wasn't on camera, so who cares? Let's play Wormel. Um Wormel, we are given information about how far away from the given letter we need to be. So if it's yellow, we are within three um, in the alphabet. And if it's gray, we are not within three in the alphabet. So it gives us a nonsense word to start with. Today's word is ibka, which kind of sounds like the sound a mummy would make if it tripped. So we'll, we'll go with that. Um, trying to keep the Halloween theme here, people. And the first letter uh, is not near Y in the alphabet. The second letter and the third letter are not near B. The fourth is not near K. And the fifth is not near A. This is not a super helpful start, I have to admit. But let's get us out, get our, oh my God, I can speak English, I swear. Uh, let's try to find a Halloween theme word to go with here. I was thinking chain, but I'm not sure that will work. No. Can I do ghost? Yes. Okay, ghost. Okay, so the first letter is near G. It's within three. I'm going to try D. How about DR? D R I does not work. D R U? Maybe not D. F. Er. Yeah. How about F R? F R I. Oh, I was going to do fried. That doesn't work. L is. Yeah, L is available. I want to end in E. Maybe not. Certainly isn't hoist. Hotel fits. Ah, okay, so the O and the E are correct. Not what I expected, actually. <laughs> And probably ending in N in that case. Let's try that. Unless it's rodeo. No. Oh, this is forced. It has to be D. Look at that. So is it dozen? It's dozen. Nice. All right, that was a good solid solve. I'm happy with that. Let's do a super wormal also. So super wormal is the same technique, except that uh, it only tells you if you're within two of the correct letter. And we're started off with Mizzy, which I think is kind of like what happens to a ghost when it spins around too fast. And this time I can start with ghost, so I'm gonna. Um, did I start with ghost before? I did, didn't I? Well, it was a good start, okay? <laughs> Let's end in R. Let's end in ER. Um, T-E-R? How about water? E-R was right. Alrighty. S. L. No. 
sober. No. Ruler. No. Uh oh. Well, we're almost out of uh, options here. We're also almost out of guesses. Refer. This has to be an E. Refer. Yay. All right, I would do a super warm up plus, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> so let's move on to Word 500, which I don't think I've ever played on the channel before. Um, I've certainly watched Ranks play it and participated in his streams, but not on my channel. So Word 500, um, we're guessing a five letter word, a la Wordle, only instead of telling us which letters are green, yellow, or not in the word, it only tells us how many of each appear in the word that we guess. So my strategy for these is to start with three words that don't share any letters. And sometimes what ends up happening is you get either it eliminates a bunch of letters or it rules in a bunch of letters, or at least like you might end up with three or four letters that are in the word that you need. So it's been working out pretty well. Um, but I don't know if it'll work for my Halloween theme. I'm gonna start with stale. So here you can see there is one of these letters is green. I don't know which one. And the rest of them are not in the word. It uses red for that instead of gray. And then the keyboard tells you which letters you've used. Um, so let's do gourd. Gourd has to do with Halloween. All right, two yellows in gourd. So I've got three of the letters that are in the answer word, which is great. And how about picky? Some people are picky about their candy. Ah, beautiful. So that just rules out all five of those letters. That's great. So we have three letters from stale and gourd, and then we need to figure out the word. So ending in E seems very possible. So like O-D-E maybe? Let's try an O-D-E word if I can. Maybe not. Start with D. D R. Maybe the A is third. D R A drawn. Oh, I like that. Oh, beautiful. So that ruled out a bunch of letters. That's useful. So maybe it's the O and the U from Gord. Like S H O U. I don't think I can end that. Um, can't be quote because that would be two letters in stale. I don't think that's a thing. I really like to try ending an E. I could try O G E or U G E. Can't be bulge or budge. It can't have a D anyway. Um, I liked S H O U, but I don't have a way to end it. There isn't a, a letter that can go on the end of that. Um, Is there something like that? Bugle, but I can't end in E if I'm using the L. There's no Y. No, that doesn't work. I don't have enough vowels for that. It can't be O-U-G-H. That's, first of all, too many from Gord, but also the O and the U would be in the same place. Vogue? No, that's too many from Gord. Um, 
<laughs> quest. I don't think it's QU, although it's very tempting. I've ruled out so many letters. Boy, this is difficult. Um, I like this construction. I wish there was a way to... But it would have to be either start with S or end in E, and that seems difficult. I feel like that's so close to being a word. Shog. <laughs> uh, gosh. No, that doesn't have a green in stale. I thought it did for a second. That would be that would be so good though. <laughs> oh, there's no I. Okay. It was still it was still an entertaining guess. Um A goal. A gom. Um I really like SH to start. Can't be you. I keep doing this and I keep not finding anything. Shove has too many from stale and not enough from gourd. Shogu. Shugo. Oh, no, that's, <laughs> again, too many from... Oh my goodness. Hugs. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> oh man, what am I doing? All right, OGE, let's see. I really don't think that's a thing. Quoge. Oh, could it be Q-U-E? But what would go before the Q? No, that wouldn't work. It would have to be the O or the G. Ah, oh, that was such a burst of inspiration, too. What about SQ? Oh, no, then the U would be green. Wow, this is difficult. A tog. You're probably all shouting the answer at me. I didn't expect this to be so difficult. I'm almost tempted to do shrug, even though I know there's no R, just to test some stuff. Okay. That was less helpful than I hoped. Well, I know there's no R. Oops. Um, I think that S is green. I think that's right. And I think there must be an O in the word. Uh...
why can't I figure this out? How many options can there be? Unless I place the U and the S isn't right. Feud? Oh! That was really hard. <laughs> Fug is a hard word. Wow. I am very, very pleased with myself. See, the UE was right. I thought of the UE very early on, but couldn't figure out what went with it. All right, we're going to finish up with vertical, which is another of my favorites, and I feel like I'm pretty good at it. Yesterday I got it in three, which was crazy. Um, What's our Halloween-themed word to start this one off with? How about... I'm running out of ideas. Might have to repeat something. Ugh. Um, zombie has uh six letters. <laughs> um. Oh well, obviously trick and treat. I hadn't tried those. How did I miss the most obvious two five-letter words that go with Halloween? Oh my goodness, it's a travesty, really. Okay, well there's an R. I'm not gonna do treat because well i will do treat even though i know there's no t just because i don't know it feels right okay so there's an r but it's not second there is an a that's not second so i'm thinking something like that uh sharp fits okay a and r are not third either so maybe it ends in ar could start with a i'll try ending in ar like Um, <laughs> I mean, R is fourth or fifth. Award? No, A isn't third. R isn't third. Abort fits. No, there's no T. Ah! <laughs> okay, try ending in AR. How about that? Um, molar fits. Okay, A is fourth. I think it does end in LAR. But what comes at the beginning of it? Well, the L could also be... There's no O. I was going to say the L could also be second. But I know it ends in R. It has to. So it does end in AR. That was a good instinct. Uh, U-L-A-R. Um... A something L A R. A L something A R. Something L something A R. <laughs> Not alter. Hmm. Gular. 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 Nular. Bular. Bular. Oh, there could be a Y. Don't know where it would go. That's not a word. Unlar. Ulnar. Sometimes you play around with the letters and it pops into your head. All right. Well, 
that turned out to be a longer video than I expected. That word 500 was really difficult. Um, but I'm pretty pleased with everything. Uh, if you liked what you saw, uh, hit that like button, leave me a comment, um, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for all your support, especially my Explorer tier patron, Shannon. That's only $5 a month and you get access to my exclusive vlog in addition to the other bonus content, as well as priority consideration for word suggestions for Wordle and Quartle. So if that interests you at all, that is another option. Uh, thank you for joining me. Have a great and happy and safe Halloween. Enjoy your candy if you like candy. And if you don't, then don't enjoy your candy. <laughs> and I'll see you next week for some more weekly daily word games.